Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center. And this week on Nature to Go, we're going to be talking about seeds, in particular, tree seeds. Have you noticed them flying around? Maybe you've seen the cotton fluff. Maybe you've seen elm seeds. And then there's my favorite, the maple seeds. Maybe you know them as helicopters or whirligigs or schizocarps. But these are the seeds that come from maple trees. Back in April, you might have noticed that the maples had flowers on them, and those flowers are developing into the seeds. Plants want to spread their seeds as far away from the parent plant as possible, and maple trees do this spectacularly well. Take a close look at the maple seed here, and you'll notice it has some features that give it a lot of advantages in being able to be spread around. First off, there's the overall shape. It's shaped sort of like a wing. It's long enough to where the seed end balances out over that extra length. It's narrow near the seed end, and then it gets wider as it goes towards the opposite end. And why this is great is because then as the seed moves through the air, it spins it. The wide end moves faster than the seed end, and that actually gives it loft to help it hold up in the air. Look at the surface of the seed. Do you see how there's all those veins? That helps create turbulence, which helps the seed move through the air. Scientists in analyzing how these seeds move have figured out that they actually create sort of like a mini tornado above the seed as it spins. There's lower pressure right above the seed head, and that also creates more lift to help the, get the seed up and moving. And lastly, the seeds are dry when they fall off the trees. That makes them nice and lightweight, and they're able to be carried by the air even more easily. It falls so fast. Let's slow it down and look at this in slow motion. The shape of the seed not only helps it to fly, but it also helps those seeds to plant themselves. The end where the seed is is a little bit pointed, and being weighted, that means the seed end falls first to the ground, and so these tend to land upright, and then they get pushed down into the soil as the wing part gets moved back and forth, eventually breaking off. And so maple seeds are going to plant themselves now, not all of the seeds will turn into maple trees. This is a favorite food of squirrels and chipmunks, finches, even turkeys. So fortunately, not all those seeds that are produced are going to become the maple trees. Some years maples produce many seeds, some years they don't produce many at all. And there's no one definitive reason why that happens. It may be a little like oak trees that do what's called masting, where some years they just produce a lot. And maple trees may do that same thing. It's a way to ensure better success because there's more seeds, more pollination happening to make sure those seeds will grow. And it also helps to protect against predators that may be trying to eat those seeds. Maple seeds, they're aerodynamic masters. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go. And we'll talk to you again next time.